Okay, so this is basically the start of my re-reviews. Re-reviewing some movies that, you know, because my video reviews were so bad, bad quality, bad audio quality. And I'm gonna try to get them to be a bit more, um, kind of detailed. Um, talk like, more in detail about the movie itself and, um, and a bit more about, um, like, you know, like, what I think about it. And um, as you know, the paranormal activity, this is the start of a franchise. I mean, there's paranormal activity, there's paranormal activity 2, paranormal activity 3, paranormal activity 4. In this movie, paranormal activity is actually a um, independent movie. Um, it was shot in 2006, which is when the movie takes place. And, um, so if you're wondering like why does this movie take place in like 2006 well that's why and it was like shown in festivals throughout 2007 2008 then like around like august september um they started playing it in um college towns like um you know just college towns and they had this thing where you could demand it to get it in your city if they did like a million um demand it then it'll release nationwide and that's basically what happened um it got released um nationwide it's, and it moved me a lot of months and made a second one then a third one then a fourth one and this spring they made a little, little spin-off um as weird as that sounds and this and that's Halloween a um a fifth movie so it's going to be two paranormal activities two paranormal activities in um one year which is pretty crazy but i love the franchise and i'm very interested to see where it's going now what about the first movie well the first movie is about where um there are these um two um the couple um katie and mika and they're being haunted by a ghost and katie says it's been haunting her for all her life so um mika decides to get a camera and record strange phenomenons and um you know it's i mean the thing about this movie is that it's more about suspense like what you see or what you don't see i mean basically you kind of need your imagination to make this movie work um so the kind of stairs that you'll expect are um um the demon um well, the demon starts off doing kind of more kind of mysterious attacks, like he messes with the furniture, um, like you might see like a door close or like a couch move or a chandelier swinging, you know, that kind of stuff. And, um, Mika, you know, he starts to, um, he starts to kind of mess with the demon and try to communicate it. It's actually kind of mean to Katie doing stuff against her, um, own will. And then later on in the movie, the demon starts to get a bit more kind of physical. Attacking more kind of physically, if you know what I mean. Like you see there. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, the movie had a lot of hype, um, because it was called one of the scariest movies of all time. And I was, and I've been terrified of these movies for years, just terrified of them. And I finally watched them, and I actually think this one's my least favorite. Um, I just think that, um, the, mo the problem with this movie is that you think something's gonna happen, but then it doesn't. And the one problem with Paranormal Activity is that it doesn't really take a long time to get started. The majority of this movie is talking, so you really have to kind of be patient with it. However, the movie is still scary and um, and very suspenseful. The problem is there are some scenes in this movie, like the third movie, um, where um, you think something is going to happen, but nothing happens. It's like um, it's like night eight, and it's like and that's some weird stuff is going on. Like um, and then it cuts back to the daytime, and um. Another thing that's annoying about this movie is all the fast forwarding. Um, the fast forwarding is annoying 
And this movie actually is kind of boring, to tell you the truth. I mean, I mean, I only jumped a few times, unlike the sequels, which I'll get to later. Um, actually, the order that I watched this in was 3, 1, 2, and 4. That's the order I watched it in. So, I, so when I watched this one, I had already seen the third movie. Um, so, um, um, the reason I didn't watch the second one, like the first one first, is because um, only the third one was on, like only the two and three were on Netflix, and um, the first one I had to rent, and I was too scared to watch them by myself, and my parents had already seen number two, so I wanted to watch one that they hadn't seen. And the third movie is a prequel that takes place in the 80s, when these movies take place in the 2000s, late 2000s, you know what I mean? Um, so, I think this movie is still worth a watch. It is a bit boring, but it is the start of one of my favorite horror franchises <coughs> of all time. And, um, even if this movie kind of bores you, you should, um, still check out the second movie. The second movie is, um, well, I'll talk to you later, but, um, I'll talk to you later about that. Um, but the second movie actually disappointed somebody, so even if you like the second one, you should still get the third movie a watch, like, see if you can get it on Netflix. But if you don't want the third one, then just kind of forget about the franchise. So what I would do is do what I did. Watch, I, what I would do is like, I watch the third movie and see if you like it, but the reason that I watched the third movie first is because, um, I was just watching the second one alone and my parents had already seen it, so, um... Yeah, overall, Paranormal Activity is actually a bit boring. It's mostly just talking, but a lot of suspense. And it's definitely a spooky movie. I mean, the problem is not much happens in it, so I would still recommend Paranormal Activity. Um, it's still a rather good, kind of, you know, fun movie. And I would definitely still um, recommend it. And um, that is pretty much it.